Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to a new replay. I'm gonna be doing the adventures of Batman and Robin for the Super Nintendo. Um, well, if you guys, I mean, probably many of you just didn't know this, but we used to have a group channel even before Naked Gaming, uh, and that channel was called the Retro Gaming Rangers, with many of the... Uh, good pals that I met on the live stream, still good friends until the present day. Um, and I did many exclusive projects on that channel. So, yeah. That's why probably you won't be able to find this project on the original channel, because that old version is just gone, doesn't exist. This one, for some reason, is not as popular as Batman Returns or some other Batman games on Nintendo and Super NES. This one, in my opinion, is one of the best games of the, con of the entire console, actually. There's a little introduction uh, before playing the actual level. And you have items to select. I don't use many of these, most of these I just don't use them. Some others are unlocked, you can activate them, but you don't need them in this level, so that's why. Just press start and continue. So yeah, this is one of the old projects I did back in 2009. Yeah, it was in 2009. Over three years ago. And yeah, I actually completed quite a few projects on that channel. All of them are gone, because the channel got erased. Um, for example, we got this... Well, I did... I replayed Mega Man X2 on the channel. I will replay for a third time. At some point. Um, and I did a couple other games. Actually, more than a couple. I would say over 10 or 12 games, some of them were arcade games. So that's why I say that, that it's a lot in terms of amount, but the, the games weren't too long. So we are in the funhouse of the amusement park. So yeah, as I was saying, this is actually one of my favorite games of uh, the Super NES. I actually got the real cartridge. I bought it like a month ago since I got my FC Twin, this uh, Super Nintendo clone. I bought the game separately of course and I was playing a bit of it on the console. I could have played that from the console itself but the quality is not that great. Remember the FC Twin doesn't have uh, S video input, so that's why I'm just playing it. I, I could play it from the Wii, maybe from the Wii emulator or the Super NES emulator for the Wii, which which uh, does have better quality, but it's just good like this, in my opinion. Since I'm getting cornered, I just take the hit. No big deal. So yeah, this game also, it's not very long, you, you have to basically fight against your rivals or your enemies. The Joker, the Penguin... I don't know... Riddler, I don't know, a, a lot of guys, you know. This is based on the television show from uh, Warner Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. It's called The Adventures of Batman and Robin, that's how the series was called, if I'm not uh, wrong. I could be wrong, I didn't watch it as a kid. I know it existed. 
it got aired here in, in the nineties, but I wasn't really a fan of it. I'm not a big fan of superheroes in general. I just like the I don't know, these video games are just fun enough. So here's the let's say boss battle, it's uh, pretty Actually this is not the boss battle as such. It's another level before the boss battle itself. It's a pretty cool place. Actually there is a good use of the Super Nintendo capabilities, graphic capabilities such as the mode 7 you will set due time. But even if it's the first level it's definitely one of my favorites. You gotta duck there, otherwise that will happen. That was weird because I was holding the down button. Well, I will keep holding down until the end. Oh, that's why. Because I got hit by one of the bombs, that's why. I didn't keep ducking. Of course, I will be doing rewinds in case of this accidental deaths. It's kind of surprising that, that I die in the first level, because this is extremely easy in my opinion. Well, it's the recording curse. Recording slash streaming curse. Of course, eventually I will kill myself in case I have almost no energy, no health. And I really consider that I need more health than the current amount. So yeah, in those, in some cases, it could happen even in the, in the in the last level for the most part. The rest, is, you know, are not really a problem to me. I do a little jump, and now we are dealing with the actual boss battle. Say goodbye. Well, boss battles in general are not difficult. Let's take a break for a couple that are a bit trickier. Alright, here you gotta duck. It's not a bad idea to get away from the Joker. Otherwise, he will have the space and the time to throw bombs and attack you. But basically, you have to wait for him to, you know, to jump from corner to corner, punch him once he lands, or throw him. But the battle itself is uh, really easy. Especially after that part in which you have to avoid the this pinball kind of things. But yeah, these boss battles are basically sequences. That louder scream means that I won the battle, basically. Of course, we got time for another level, so we are going for it right away. It got password system, of course, not gonna need it, since I'm playing this on emulator. No green peas, well, it's clearly poison ivy. Every time we'll see the, the shape of the next enemy, no big surprise. Recently there has been an unusual increase of the number of trees in the area. It's uh, been reported sightings of bizarre plant life. So here, there are some of the items that are not even necessary at all, or just not allowed. There are some others that, as you told you, they are optional. No, I'm not gonna use them. You cannot kill these enemies. I mean, you can, but not by normal means. You're using this uh, range attack to paralyze these enemies and then go on. But you cannot punch them regularly. Is that called the battle ring? I guess so. I don't even consider these mini bosses. You can attack them or attack this uh, weak point fast enough, otherwise, this thing is gonna attack you back. There are three of them in this section. Actually, three of them in the entire game. Whoa. 
so yeah, for now, uh, on this uh, replays, I'm gonna be doing these projects that I did on other channels. Actually, yeah, specifically... I don't know if you guys knew this, but actually I participated in three group channels. Uh, the first one was one called the Nintendo Freaks back in 2008 and I actually finished a few projects um, especially ports of classic games that I did once for example I did Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance I did Super Mario at least most of Super Mario Deluxe Super Mario Brothers Deluxe for the Game Boy Color uh, I did Control the Alien Wars for the Game Boy Advance, which got a couple of ex oh, or different levels from the Super Nintendo version. I could do probably that, the Control game, because Mario, I mean, Mario Deluxe, it's not something that probably you will want to watch. Um, I could do a survey kind of thing, and or a poll, not a survey, a poll, and you can let me know if you actually would like to see another Mario game. That's how you can kill those enemies, basically, by forcing them to touch the spikes or just throw them off the platforms. Not always the best solution. There's a little bit of slowdown. Why do you go to the other side? Well, I think I meant to do that. I meant to use the grappling hook in a you know, diagonally. Remember, you cannot kill these uh, enemies, these uh, women, women actually. There are two of them. Better get away. Actually, made it to the boss already, right? Those some climbing section. Okay, there is one more room before. Yeah, I, I actually cleared that path or that climbing section pretty fast. I usually get stuck there pretty often. I'm losing even more energy. Okay, you better get away from those. Why are you doing this, Poison Ivy? Blah, blah, blah. Human world. Human people are stupid. Or human beings more than... Rather than human people so yeah um, I'm gonna be doing uh, or redoing some of those projects from that first group channel I participated in and also the retro gaming rangers as I told you there are quite a few of those projects before just doing the ones from my old channel Well, that was a bad idea. I am probably going to die, but actually, I, 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 I am quite confident that I can do this without dying. It takes a lot of hits. That's probably the main difficulty of this enemy in particular. As you can tell, there is a pattern. Run, run back, and then jump. Oh well, I didn't realize I was throwing that thing. I could start it again and just make sure I... Well, what's with my timing? Again, it's the recording curse! I played at least three times this game in the last month or so. Trust me, that amount of times, that much, or that many, and I didn't have any problem with any of the previous or any of the first bosses. I almost didn't die. I streamed this on Deep Gamers also a few months back. 
Actually, I did it pretty well there. That was quick. It's not gonna change pattern, it's basically the same thing. It looks like it's getting faster, maybe. This kind of arm. It didn't make a different sound when it does. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to take longer, but the thing is... It's not the difficulty, it's basically the length. The big issue here. Well guys, that's all for the time being. Next video I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a couple more levels hopefully. So thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later.